there at TNT. Ernie is adjusting his headset. Just got through talking to the Eastern Conference champions. Look at the streets of Toronto. They're going, going crazy, crazy. Shaq. All right, wait, listen, Shaq. Hey, job. Shaq. Hey, let's just go. Let's just cut to commercial and go out there and enjoy all the people. Yeah, you're right. Hey, yeah, I, I, I great interviews, Ernie. Those are great interviews. Shaq, thanks, man. That was a. Uh, I thought it was overrated. Boy, what a. You know what? What a, great, <laughs> what a grateful team and a grateful fan base. Yeah, that's, hey, what, unbelievable. that's what strikes you when you stand down there. Listen, I'm so happy for this unbelievable. team. Unbelievable. I'm so unbelievable. happy for this city. Remember that conversation we we had about Kawhi a couple months ago when he was the fourth, fifth? He's one or two hey, now. Hey, let me just say this. One or two. Great game. Congratulations, Toronto. For a guy to have 17 rebounds, seven assists, willing his team to win this game, uh, man, he's unbelievable. I got number but admiration and respect this guy. And I want to say something about that man right there. Oh, he did a great Masai job. Ujiri. Now, listen, Kenny, we had a little disagreement before the no, game. No, it wasn't a disagreement. Okay. I got respect for Dwayne Case and DeMar DeRozan. For this man here who got crucified for trading his most popular best player, and people forget, he fired the coach of the year. And everybody says, you can't do that. And he said, hey, we're not good enough. This is his redemption. Shout out to Masai Ujiri. Yes, and I agree with everything you said. And my only point was they helped put him in a position to do that. Building which blocks. Is great. The building blocks, yeah. that's all. But this is a great job by Masai. Unbelievable, you know, for the Toronto Raptors. And yes, as great as Kawhi was, when they made that run, Ernie, when he was sitting on the bench, as you pointed out downstairs, that was just as impressive because the season's on the line. And yep. your best player but, is sitting, and you had well, Paul and Ibaka yeah. and oh Siaka. Yeah. And Ibaka but, yeah. was unbelievable yeah. in these moments. Another guy who's been to the NBA Finals, he wasn't scared at the moment. Let's Everybody go to, let's go to the highlights, and uh, we will watch yeah, Game 6 crazy. in the 6. And, man, those people were surrounding, I mean, for blocks lined up to go into Jurassic Park. I go Park. that cyborg, America. <laughs> yes, yes. And they started out great. In terms of uh, Milwaukee, they Milwaukee, ready to play. They were gonna, they're gonna be kicking themselves for the, for the first half and the third quarter. Yeah, and they, and they don't run plays it, uh, uh, as you said. They had great ball movement up there. Yeah, yeah. early they shot game, very well. They but, started out great, but it's blocked down. by the freak there, and it's gonna wind up Check, in we, the hands again of Ersan Ilyasova. When you're up 13, 14 points at the end of the first quarter, you can't be up seven at the halftime in this game. After one, hey, listen, 31-18, Milwaukee. Our man, Miss Van Fleet again. Thank you for having that baby because he's been awake since then. And Kawhi <laughs> also did another great job of, you know, baiting the defense and kicking it out to his guys, and everybody stepped up. Big shot right there by Kawhi. Serge Ibaka, but just finding people. Nice look. And so it happens on the back end of a zone if you swing that ball a couple times. And here's Van Vliet, oh. full of confidence. <laughs> I think there's a word. Junior. There's got to be a word better than confidence with that dude. Yeah, yeah, 50 yeah. to 43 was the halftime score because they took a point away on one of the Kawhi Leonard three-pointers. But here comes Anacupo knocking down a three. I mean, they came out in that third quarter. They played well. And, you know, it, Strong it kicks. First wow. field goal attempt of the game for Marcus Gasol but, there. But, but the thing that was interesting, Ernie, they had these big leads, but when the quarter was over, they didn't have big leads. Yep. Huge play here. It, it appeared it would be a huge play. Offensive rebound turns into a bucket here for Chris Middleton, and basically a four-point play after the uh, after the inbound inbounds play. Yeah. So right here on the inbound, boom, he steps back out. Good call, and Ernie beats on that. the shot clock. And this so they're up 63 52. Yeah, and, and they oh, added to the lead from that point. They, they, they have 15 now. With uh, with about two minutes to go in the third quarter. And then they didn't have that lead. I mean, this, that, this is the point right here where I was like, they just blew this game. Yeah, when you're a road team and you play well, you have to continue to play well for the full 48 minutes. You're this was, you're this was Portland like. Yeah, yeah, yeah got to finish quarters. The, you know, NBA basketball is about finishing quarters. Norman Powell on his 26th birthday knocks down the three-pointer. brother. Kyle Lowry. Hey, he played, played great today. He played great. To Serge Ibaka. Ooh. That's an SED right there. Shaq like dunk. Emblem dunk. Ooh. They had a, <laughs> what was the run? 22 to 2 was the run oh, they put no, on. You can't have he played today, too. He played with a lot of energy. Hey, they did.
And while that guy was sitting down, they had the run. Oh, so give me like, that. Okay, we made the run. But this, this is awesome. Oh, right. This yes. is the signature Ooh. Oh, my. of this series. Ooh. I, we gotta have another look at that. We gotta have another look at that. We gotta have another look at that. Watch this bounce. You know, you, beep, beep, beep. Yep. you thought Milwaukee, when they got back and got the lead, they were gonna win this thing. Pascal Siakam had missed a couple of free throws late in game He's three. Good. Leave it up there. He, he split the free throws there and made it a two possession Jurassic game. Park going crazy. Kyle Lowry moments away from going to the finals for the first time. Good for him. Well deserved. And 100 to 94. You know what's impressive about the Raptors, besides all the stuff we showed you on the on the highlights, but essentially, three times in this six-game series, they held the Bucks under 100 points. One of those games went overtime, but it was 96 in regulation. I mean, Toronto's defense yeah. is very good. Yeah, folks. You, you, I know you, that sounds good on for those analytical numbers, but this was a wake-up call for the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, the Milwaukee Bucks earning your flaws show in the playoffs. Talking about my flaws? Uh, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. This thing where Milwaukee just gives the ball to Giannis and score against his own, it's it works. Work and I don't want to disparage other NBA teams. It works against the Hawks. It works against the Nets. It works against the Knicks. Well, that's not disparaging at all. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I know, I know. You, I know what you mean. You just can't give the ball to Giannis at the top of the key. Especially when you're in a best of seven series well, and, where you're and, seeing and, each and other every other day. Especially yeah. when he's getting guarded by Kawhi Leonard. You, what and happens no. also, Ernie, is, and Shaq, excuse me, what, what happens is the best of the best play. So we have to figure out a way to beat you. And now the kryptonite has entered the building. So next year, multiple teams will start to do this and play that way. So if you are Milwaukee, you're going to have to change some things up. And, you know, credit to Nick Nurse for saying, because, you know, we all know this is, is a man's league. Hey, Kenny, uh, Chuck, you got him. Nick Nurse said, nope, we're going to put it in the zone. A little 3-2 zone, a little yep. high school yeah, college zone, Shaq, but Shaq. and put three, four guys at the top and say, hey, Giannis, you're going to have to kick it. Yeah, but also, Shaq, listen. Uh, that's the white your glass is not your, your forehead, glasses, your man. Glasses are fucking. That's, that's my TV. napkin, yeah, man. Yeah. You are dirty up my napkin, America. <laughs> that's because I'm hot right now. <laughs> you are hot right now. <laughs> hey, but you know what? Mike Bunos are going to take a look in the middle. It, it ain't about you said Nick Nurse played a zone. Bunos can't put him in that situation. He well, got, he got a long summer to think about it. He got, but I'm saying though, Kenny. Well, if you're a man to man, it may work. Yeah, because but I, remember, Boston played man to man. You know, game one, he started off slow, but, you know, once because he made his NBA, adjustments. The NBA hasn't yeah, been a no, zone league, right? and so he tried it, league. and it worked. And it definitely worked, and so other people will try that for but multiple you, but long you, But you, you have to put your players in position to be successful. I yes, go back to do. what you guys said at halftime, too, and you said if you're Nick Nurse, you got to feel good because you're not down double digits, and you said there's no way Milwaukee's going to continue to shoot 50% from three-point range. Second half, they went three for 16 Ernie, from deep to Ernie, the Bucks. The, these guys know, and we've been playing, we've all been around a long time. When you let teams hang around, bad stuff happen. They, they, they were up 13, I think it was the end of the first quarter. They were, they were only up seven at the half. Then they got that big lead in the third quarter. 15 with two minutes left in the third quarter. And then I think it was eight going into that. You're up, and that's a big difference between 15 and 8. There was that 22 to 2 bridge, and that uh, that told the tale. Unbelievable, unbelievable game six as Toronto takes advantage of the home court heading to the NBA Finals. First time we'll see a finals game outside of the United States. Oh, Look at Kawhi stuff. Leonard. Oh, we're going after oh. it. Everybody's going after it. Ooh. Oh, and that oh. is impressive. Andy Bernstein, send me that photo. Uh, go get this. Come get this. Come get this, Superman is in the building. Oh, no, I don't believe. I know, we, we got you both. We got you both. I want to talk to Kawhi uh, first because when you, when you look at this game, and I know that your head coach, Nick Nurse, has said, look, even keel. When things are going well, don't get too carried away. When they're down, don't get down. Tell me what was happening when you were down 15 points late in the third quarter and what the mindset was on this team. We was here, um, you know, last game in the third quarter, fourth quarter, and we just took our, we just strived at it. We, we enjoyed the moment. We went out there and played hard every possession. You know, and, you know, my teammates had my back. Uh, I went on the bench just to start that fourth quarter. They came back and made a run. Fred hit big shots, Norm. 
You've seen Kalo hit two big threes back to back, and you know Serge rebounding, Mark hitting threes. It's just a collective effort, and um, you know that's our mindset going in, just playing, playing hard, each possession. You've been a Finals MVP before. This is this is a pretty special situation when you come to a team like this that's never been there, and now you're heading there. How is that registered with you? Well, I'm still, I'm st it's still surreal to me right now. You know, we, we just won game six, but, you know, that's what we've been striving for all season. Everybody here wants to get to the finals and win it. I mean, it, and it's, it's not over yet. Uh, so we're going to enjoy the win tonight, go in the locker room, and see what we got to do uh, tomorrow for the next, for the next team. Congratulations, Kawhi. Now, Kyle.